Hello and welcome back to Maths Plus. Today we have an exponential equation. We have 2 to the power of x squared plus 4 to the power of x squared is equal to 8 to the power of x squared. So we're going to solve this. So before we start, don't forget to pause the video and try it. And also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you. So let's get started. Now let's look at the consistency between the 2, the 4 and the 8. So we can see that there is a definite pattern because 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 1. 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. And 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 3. So what we can do is we can convert the 2 to the power of 4 as 2 to the power of 2x squared all to be squared and for the 8 we can put the cube so let's apply that across the board so we're going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of x squared all to the power of 1 plus 2 to the power of x squared all to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x squared all to the power of 3. Now this problem really needs a substitution so we're going to set y is equal to 2 to the power of x and that's squared as well. Right so now we're going to rewrite the expression in terms of y. So we will have y plus y squared is equal to y cubed. And let now we have the y cubed on one side, so we're going to keep that positive. We're going to rewrite this as y cubed minus y squared minus y. And that's equal to 0. Now what we want to do is factor out y, because we start the factoring process to solve for y. So we can take y out across. We can go y, open brackets, y squared minus y minus 1. Alright, so now we got to find, uh, to see, does y work for one of the real solutions? So if y is equal to 0, let's look at that. So y is equal to 0 is an option here. Okay, so let's test that. So remember, 2 to the power of x was equal to y. And 2 to the power of x cannot be equal to 0 for real numbers. Formula looks familiar because we can use the quadratic formula and we can set the coefficients for the quadratic as a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to negative 1. Alright, so let's plug them into our formula and we will get a result of y is equal to minus minus 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is negative 1 squared minus 4 by 1 by negative 1 all over 2. So y is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. And as you can see, this is also referred to as the golden ratio. But in this case, we want y to be positive, okay? Because remember, we had y is equal to the 2 to the power of x squared. We wanted to keep this real, so we're going to use just the plus, 1 plus square root 5. As if we used a 1 minus square root 5, it would be negative, and we want to keep positive. Okay, so now we can start solving for the x. So we're going to set it up here as 2 to the power of x squared is equal to the golden ratio phi or we're just going to write in the number 
on the right hand side okay so we have a power and also we have a number on the other side so we're going to have to employ logs to solve this so we're going to get the log to the base 2 of both sides the reason why we do this is that it's going to cancel the 2 and also we can bring down the exponent as a coefficient of the log with a log root so let's do that so we can rewrite it as x squared by log of 2 to the base 2 is equal to the log of the golden ratio so let's write it in all right so there we are so log of any number to its base is going to give you 1 so we're going to get x squared by 1 is x squared is equal to log to the base 2 of the golden ratio 1 plus square root 5 over 2 now we're going to square root both sides and we're going to get x is equal to plus or minus the square root of the golden ratio of the log of the base 2 of the golden ratio all right so let's evaluate that with our calculator and let's see so finally the exponential equation of 2 to the power of x squared plus 4 to the power of x squared is equal to 8 to the power of x squared is x is equal to 0 0.833 and x is equal to negative 0 0.833 so i hope you enjoyed the video thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and see you on the next video